So, half a dining room that we don't really use, right? Really, the whole house was kind of designed around. I found the biggest island slab I could get. Built everything else around it because we live here, the kids eat lunch here, we work here, dine. And the other thing that I did was we made the countertop go up the backsplash as well. No grout on the backsplash, it's huge. So this is honestly, these two spaces are where we spend the most amount of time. But do you want to show them your downstairs bedroom? So we set up bunk beds down here and this wasn't exactly a design choice. This is a toddler bed, but it's Frank's bed. This used to be Steve's office um, that he didn't really use a ton. So we actually got rid of the desk and made this the music room. So this is where the boys jam out. And it's immediately adjacent to our gym and my husband's a nutritionist and personal trainer. So this is kind of his spot. One of the fun things that I did in here is I put down, it's actually like toddler play mat instead of like that black gym matting. And it still is super easy to clean, but kind of looks like a rug. So it makes a gym a little more aesthetically pleasing. Also have this big like sideboard cabinet that's got the storage in it for extra stuff. So hopefully you guys like the little tour and thanks for visiting. A nightclub, like better than most nightclubs I've been to. Well, I, get I, any work done I didn't want it to look like a gym, so we're gonna go through <laughs> well, some of the projects yeah. it, that I have in my house that are kind of easy to replicate. Um, oh, these are all things that are kind of like yeah. our accessible knockoffs of what you 100%. did. Hundred percent. So cool. when we panned in the living room, you saw like I have I have a couple different city skylines of indie um, in my house. One's right? metal, one's wood, but this is a really easy way if you wanna. You want to sure. get your get some paint on your brush. So the stencil you can get of any city, your city. Order the template online. Get a canvas, whatever size you want. You tape it down with just some painters tape, and ideally stay inside the tape. But you know, it's it's an artistic uh, expression. Artistic so choice. You can kind of you know go out. That's the a dangerous you want. thing to say to a cook. Dude. Right. Again, <laughs> super simple. You know what? I might have actually done it good enough that I can take my tape off because we're supposed to just pull to this in case we messed up. But. I think we both actually did a really good job. Yeah. So, and I'm feeling good that's about that's myself, it. dude. Okay, we had a little. Well, I had a little. We had a little. Whatever. A that's little the little East bit. River. That's the East River. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So again, super easy. Um, and then. I like mine. That's fine. <laughs> Let's see. I probably messed mine up too. We can pull the tape off real quick. Yeah, I have a. I have some rivers too. You're fine. Okay. And then uh, the next one over here is obviously my backsplash. It's a, it's a quartz material and it goes all the way up the back. Not super cost effective for a lot of people. So this is an option. This is a peel and stick tile. It's really easy to cut. I love peel and stick. It's like stickers for grown-ups. Yes. So you just score it, you can cut it, and here, you wanna try, you wanna try to stick No, that? I'm no, doing my go. own. Okay. okay. See, I, I pre-folded my corner down. I knew that was gonna Oh, you it. cheated. I cheated, but. Super easy to put up, and it's gonna get you that really nice, really dramatic look. You do whatever you want. I'm, I'm doing my stickers. Yeah, get your sticker. I'm getting my stickers on. It's really simple. So, very nice to do to get your backsplash all the way to the ceiling, particularly if you're going behind a hood. It's just oh, a really I love nice that, because it makes the room look taller and bigger, right? Yes, it makes it look Epic. much fancier. All right. And then over here, we've got a little kind of like remake of my gym. So it's a nice little sideboard, um, painted, and then if you don't have, we have like a free weight stand. It's a good place to store your weight. You can store all this stuff in, it looks so cute. Yeah. And this is just, you know, the cabinet liner to give you a little buffer. Um, I love it, and it's so adorable. Yeah, drawers, we've got some, you know. For your yoga mats yoga and all that stuff. and stretching balls that we don't use. This is actually a great idea for kitchens, too. This reminds yes. me of oldie timey back in the day, Julia yes. Child. Yes. It's in the Smithsonian, hers. Her little pegboard. Really? All of her pots, pans, utensils would live on pegboard. It's such a good Cheap, solution. Cheap, easy, fantastic. Yeah. Gym, it's what lines her, your kitchens. Yep. Garage. You've got some uh, bands behind you. Those uh -huh. go up on this little hook. Gotcha. But you can move it around, kind of put things wherever you want on it. So just I nice. love it. Yeah. 